Hey guys! Today I thought I would share with you some of my current favorites and some I think would probably be classified as recent obsessions. Um, these are just a couple of things I've been really into over the last several months and it's kind of a mix of everything. There's some music, some makeup, books, um, I think a DVD as well. So yeah, let's just dive in. I will start with music and the first CD that I have is the new Little Mix Glory Day CD which if you'll remember I did a music review of this on my blog back in October, November when they released um, their single Shout Out to My Ex and I did a music review of that which I will link below for anyone who's interested in checking that out. And at the time I said that I was really interested to see what the full album sounded like just based off of, you know, the one or two songs that were out at the time. And as you and I finally got it. And it's been in heavy rotation the last two months or so, something like that. Um, when I get new music, if it's an artist that I really, really like or a group that I really, really like, I will listen to it constantly for the first several weeks. <laughs> Um, I don't know if anyone else does that, if it's just me, I don't know, but so this has been in heavy rotation and I'm slowly starting to kind of like branch back out and listen to other stuff or like older stuff that is on my iPod. The other one um, that I have is the new Ed Sheeran CD, which if you have not heard this, oh my god, so good, favorite album of his so far. I believe I also did um, a music review of this on my blog which I will also link below but this one is oh I love this I listened to this non-stop for like two probably I got him at the same time so like two months at least um I love this I almost every single song on here in love with my favorite is um Nancy Mulligan though I have to say there's something about that song man love it but yes Really good. Highly recommend if you have not already gotten it. Definitely check it out. The next two items that I have are makeup beauty related items. And the first one is this Ole Daily Facials. Um, it's a box that comes with 60 or so like little towelettes. And I've been trying them out lately and I just think they're really good. I think they do a really good job of washing your face and getting all of the makeup off. Um, and I also really like that these are dry. You have to wet these um, in order to use them. So you wet them in the sink and let's see if I can come out. See, so this is what they look like. It's just a little towelette that's dry. And so you run this underwater and rub it together to get it to lather up. And then you put that on your face, um, wash your face with it, and then take a washcloth and rinse um, with that to just get the, like, the excess suds and stuff off. I think it really works. It's really good. It's not too harsh. Like I said, I think it gets pretty much all of my makeup off. And so I've been really loving this lately. The other thing, um, I think I put this in a haul video. It hasn't been that long, like a month, month and a half, something like that. This is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. I don't know if you can see that because of the reflection, but that's what it's called. And I really like this product. Um, I use it as a primer and it really, it's supposed to minimize pores, kind of suck up any excess oils and things like that. I think it really works. I really liked the effect that it had, particularly around my kind of like nose and t-zone area where I do tend to have more visible pores. I'm always looking to minimize those. Um, so I really like this. The only thing about it is it broke. It looks intact but it's just kind of placed in there. As you can see like once it got down so far it just it snapped off. So not really happy about that. But as far as the actual product working I think it works really really well. I was really pleased with it and I'm just sad that it broke. <laughs> My last two um, things are kind of in the entertainment realm. Um, one is a TV series, Two Broke Girls. I don't know if anyone else has watched this. Um, I own the first three 
seasons of it, so that's why I'm holding this up. This is from season one. But, so I have liked the show since it originally aired. I don't remember how many years ago, but I liked this since this originally aired. Probably, at le it's been at least four or five years. Um, I know they got through season six, so probably about six years or so. So I've liked this since the beginning, but I got kind of behind. I really only watched um, up until season three, which is the, the furthest one I have. So when I moved here, I started DVRing the series and just have watched the series back from the beginning. Um, so I'm almost caught up now. Again, I'm in season five somewhere, I think. Um, but I've just always thought that this show was really funny. I love Kat Dennings. She is the brunette right there. And then Beth Bear is the blonde. And they're them and the whole cast and the script. Um, comedian Whitney Cummings, uh, was one of the writers and I think executive producers on the project. Uh, I really like her work. I loved, it was a short-lived series, but I loved her TV series, Whitney, which, uh, only had two seasons, but I loved that. I loved the writing on this. Um, I don't think it's everybody's cup of tea. I remember when it came out, you know, like, my parents and some aunt and uncles that had seen the previews weren't super impressed by it, just because of some of the jokes on there, but I thought it was really funny, and I'm really sad that it got canceled. Again, like I said, I think they got through six seasons before it got the axe, but I've really been enjoying watching that and kind of catching up, even though I know that it got canceled, um, but it's just a fun show, I think. The other thing is a book series that one of my friends at home actually recommended. If anyone has read the Poison Study series by Maria Schneider, I believe, um, my friend really, really liked that series. We both read that series, both enjoyed it, but she really, really liked it. She's like, okay, you remember how obsessed I was with that series? I like this series like five times better than that. So I was like, okay, I gotta try this. So this is Anne Bishop. This is the first book in the series called Written in Red. Um, it's, I think the series is called The Others. Um, but so the first book is called Written in Red. It's an urban fantasy kind of apocalyptic um, mix kind of series. So urban fantasy, uh, if you don't know, is essentially, it's, essentially like a twist on like life as we know it but it has urban it has a um, sorry fantasy element so like this deals with the others which are um creatures that are not human they're kind of more than human um and then it also in this book or in this series I should say so in the beginning it gives you a list just for reference when you're reading of names of the Great Lakes, days of the week, the continents and stuff. And you can see just by looking at the titles that you can probably guess what they might be based off of, um, like in today's world. So like, obviously like days of the week, fires day, Friday, winds, wind day, Wednesday, things like that. And then it just has that supernatural fantasy kind of element to it and then I think it also has a kind of apocalyptic um element to it kind of reminded me in a way of the Hunger Games because the Hunger Games everyone all the wealthy and stuff that kind of control everything live in the capital and then the districts are kind of struggling and are kind of dependent on the the edicts and the laws that the capital makes in the same way here that the others are the original kind of land owners um and control all of the natural resources and so water oil metal you know all of that so they control the land and the natural resources as to how much the humans get and how big of a settlement that they can have, like how big their cities can be and where they can live and things like that. So it's really, really interesting. Um, so like I said, this is the first book. I think there's, I think she just came out with the fifth one. So I have the first book. I have the second one, Murder of Crows. The third book is in the other room. I've ordered the fourth book and I think it should be coming tomorrow as this is being filmed. And then I will read that and then the fifth book. 
Um, but it's a really good series. I definitely recommend it if anyone is interested. Um, I know that kind of the fantasy element or like supernatural, whatever you want to call it, isn't necessarily for everyone. I have no problem with it. I've always been a fan of it. I have very diverse reading um, taste, so I will read stuff like this, but then while I'm waiting for the next one, while, while I'm waiting for the fourth book of this to arrive, I've been reading a book um, that is talking about kind of human evolution and what happened to the other um, human-like ancestors like Homo erectus and Neanderthal and all of those and so kind of it the book is addressing the question of why are why are humans the ones that are still here like what happened to our 26 or however many other branches of kind of human like or human prototype ancestors um why didn't they survive and we did so it's kind of addressing that but so I read stuff like that and then I also read stuff like this and so, but like I said, if you're into fantasy and things like that, definitely, definitely recommend that book <laughs> or that series. It's so good. So good. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, feel free to like and or follow me um, if you would like to keep up with what I'm doing on social media as well as see more content like this. And I will see you guys next time.